Hey everybody, it's Luke from Galaxy Tech Review and today I've got a little bit of a tutorial video on how to install NVIDIA drivers on any laptop or PC computer. Uh, I know for a lot of you this is really just second nature, but there's a lot of people out there that have never updated uh, their drivers before and may find this tutorial uh, helpful. Uh, this would be for something like if you just ordered a, a laptop uh, and it came in with some really old drivers uh, or from the factory or whatever and you want to just get the fresh install of the newest NVIDIA drivers uh, I'm gonna kinda walk you through it. So it's gonna be a little bit of a longer video here. Uh, on the right hand side if you have NVIDIA GeForce already installed you'll see it in this icon tray here uh, or your notification tray uh, and you can just right click on it and do check for updates but since we don't have that set up we're gonna take a look at how to just go to nvidia.com and download the driver package. So first of all, you're gonna to wanna to open up any browser that you want and type nvidia.com, obviously, to get to their website. And then you're gonna to want to go over to drivers uh, and select GeForce drivers because most people are gonna be running you know, GeForce drivers. Uh, now there are three different options here. You can do automatic driver updates. This is very simple. You can just download GeForce Experience uh, and install it and it will automatically detect what driver you need uh, and that's the easiest way to do it but let's say you don't want to run GeForce Experience on your PC and you just want the driver uh, that's what I'll be showing you today uh, they also have an automatically detect your GPU and I found that to be kind of finicky uh, so let's take manual driver search. This is if you just want to download the, the driver itself. The top box is going to be GeForce or Titan if you have a Titan card. Uh, and you're going to notice in the second box we have GeForce 10 series and GeForce 10 series with a notebooks in brackets. This will be for any laptop. So if you have, say, the Predator Helios, um, that's going to have a GTX 1060 in it. So you want to make sure that you take GeForce 10 series notebook and then select GeForce GTX 1060. I happen to have a GTX 1070 in this MSI laptop that I'm working with right now, so I'm gonna select that. Uh, but make sure that the second box says notebook if it's a laptop and a, if it's a desktop, make sure that it doesn't say notebook afterwards. You can also drop this down for your operating system. Most people by now will be running Windows 10 64 bit, but they do get uh, offers or, or options, I should say, for Windows 7, Windows 8, and even Linux. And then you can do your uh, search here. At the bottom, you can either do beta drivers, uh, but just leave it at all and do a search. And what's going to happen is your results are going to be at the bottom. We're going to scroll down and take a look at our results. The newest driver is from uh, March 27th, 2018. Uh, it's 391.35 as the version number goes. Uh, so, And it's WHQL, so it's Windows certified. This is going to be, uh, and they'll put those at the top, the newest driver for my laptop, which happens to be a GTX 1070. And, of course, it is a laptop, so it does say notebooks there. So what you're going to want to do now is obviously uh, agree and download uh, this. It's uh, 445 megabytes. So we're going to agree and we're going to download this driver package. Now this driver package will have several different options in it. Uh, a clean installation, an express installation, and a, a custom installation or advanced installation. I'm going to save this to my desktop. Uh, and while this is downloading, uh, I'll give you kind of an overview. Uh, some people want to run GeForce Experience. It gives you uh, custom settings for games. It allows you to record gameplay with shadow play. Uh, and some people are against it. Some people don't like it. Some people don't like the fact that uh, they, they don't want it running on their uh, PC. They want the cleanest experience possible. Uh, so when we get this driver package, it's going to give us options in the advanced setup uh, to either install GeForce Experience or not. I particularly like GeForce Experience. It tells me whenever there's a new driver, I can just click on it and download the new driver and be good to go. But that's me. So you can make that decision on your own. I'll show you the options here as we run through the setup really quickly. Uh, so now that it's downloaded to my desktop, uh, I will um, go back and just show you again. If you have a, a Helios 300, which a lot of you do that watch my channel, just make sure that it's a GeForce 10 series notebooks 
Uh, and then, of course, if it's a desktop, make sure that it's GeForce 10 series. Or if you have a 900 series card uh, or 9 series card like a GTX 980, uh, same difference. Uh, just make sure uh, that you make sure that you have the correct one selected. Do not download the notebook for the desktop version or vice versa. So very simple. Uh, if you are doing this for the Helios 300, obviously it'll take GeForce 10 series notebooks and you'll drop this down to GeForce GTX 1060 uh, and then you'll just click search. Uh, it's going to be Windows 10 64-bit unless for some reason you're running Linux on it or something different than what it came out of the box. Uh, and this is going to be the driver for the Helios 300 uh, in, in that specific regard. So let's close this out. Now that I've got my driver package here, and I know I've got the correct one, I'm going to run this, and it's going to uh, ask me, of course, whether I want to run it or not, and I'm going to say yes. So we're going to run it, and it's going to ask us where we want to unpack this. Just leave the extraction path at the default. You don't need to change it. Uh, that's the easiest way. I'm going to kind of speed through uh, the unpacking process here uh, and kind of uh, just make it a little bit quicker since we're going to have uh, a pretty long video as we're going here. So as this is unpacking, uh, again, it's just going to unpack all the files and then it's going to launch the installation. Uh, very simple, uh, easy process. You don't really have to do anything here. Uh, it's going to check your system compatibility. This is to make sure that the driver package that you downloaded matches your system. So if you were to you know, download Titan drivers for something that had a GTX 1080 on it, it's going to say, hey, wait a minute. Uh, system check uh, is done. So your license agreement, of course, you're going to have to agree and continue here. Now, these are the installation options that I was talking about. Express is... Uh, updates existing drivers and retains current NVIDIA settings. This is if you just wanted to update the driver uh, and you didn't really need to do any changes. Uh, and then a custom is going to be advanced, allows you to select the components that you want to install. Uh, and we're going to do that so that you can see all these components here. The graphics driver is uh, un, you can't select, unselect that. So that's always going to be done. Uh, you can select whether you want GeForce Experience installed or not installed in, at this point. Uh, so that's something that if you want to run it, you can. I would just say run it, but go for it. Uh, if you don't want to do it, that's fine. Uh, the graphics driver, you can un pretty much unselect everything but graphics driver if you just want to clean uh, dr graphics driver and, and nothing else. No physics, no HD audio driver. Uh, and you also have a perform clean installation. The clean installation uh, uh, will uh, restore all NVIDIA settings to their default and remove any profiles you've created. So I'm just going to do that. I'm going to do the, a clean installation. This is the way, to, uh, if I got something from the factory, has some really old stuff on it or whatever, I'll just do a clean installation, wipe out everything, and install the newest um, drivers, the newest uh, HD audio driver, and everything else uh, that I have there. So... Uh, that is pretty much uh, how you do it. Uh, we're going to kind of speed through this a little bit, and then I will be back to show you what happens once we get done. Okay, so once it's done installing, you're gonna, it's going to show you a list of things that have been installed, like NVIDIA GeForce Experience, the Vision Driver, Graphics Driver, HD Audio Driver, Physics, and so on. Uh, create a desktop shortcut for NVIDIA GeForce Experience if you want one, or launch it, which is what we'll do now. So it'll put it on your desktop. I have a G-Sync display in my laptop, so it tells me that I can go to NVIDIA Control Panel uh, and configure uh, the G-Sync options. It's going to give you release highlights. You can click these away uh, if you're not interested in what's new in GeForce Experience. And if you've never used GeForce Experience before, uh, this is where you can go and search for drivers. You can use Shadow Play, uh, and you are going to have to log in. So you can create an NVIDIA account. You can log in with Google or Facebook or whatever you need to uh, to uh, create your NVIDIA account. And what this will do, it will uh, remember your preferences, uh, let you pair with your PC to Shield devices uh, and other things. So I'm going to log in with my NVIDIA account here. And once we get logged in, it's going to say, keep your games optimized, automatically optimized, newly added games. I don't like to do that. I like to do that manually. Uh, we're going to skip through this. And it found a bunch of games. Uh, it scans your system to find uh, games that are installed on your particular system. 
So as you can see, uh, several versions of Doom for some reason, uh, it looks like three versions of Doom Vulcan and three versions of regular Doom came up, I don't know why. But anyway, from here, you can select a certain game and you can mess with the settings uh, or set settings uh, towards a particular game if you want to. So if I wanted to, say, go to Fortnite, I can uh, set settings just for Fortnite uh, through NVIDIA Experience. Now up here, you're going to have uh, your uh, GeForce Experience. You can either broadcast live to uh, Facebook or um, uh, YouTube or Twitch. Uh, and you can actually uh, set all of those in here. You can log into Facebook or Google uh, or YouTube, uh, Twitch, uh, and you can have that uh, logged in so that you can actually uh, just upload gameplay and broadcast straight to those. Instant replay is on. It'll capture moments for you. So there's a lot of stuff you can do here with the GeForce Experience. Now, this is the Drivers tab. This is where if you open Jump GeForce Experience, you can actually, in the right-hand corner, you're going to see Check for Updates. It's going to be able to check for the newest driver if you want to check for it. That's why if you just want to download GeForce Experience, you can do that. If you don't want to run GeForce Experience, though, then you're going to have to kind of go the long way and uh, download it uh, just like I did and do the install uh, and just install the driver itself. But having GeForce Experience makes it a little bit easier uh, and allows you to uh, just download drivers on the fly as soon as they come out. I hope this tutorial helped you guys. Uh, remember to like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so because that always helps me out. And I'll check you guys out on the next video.